Well, thanks for visiting us here at ArkleTechZonePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Friday morning forecast update. Setting up to be a pretty nice day for us. We will feel a little more humidity come back today, but pretty nice morning once again as everybody should start out in the 60s. So the earlier you can get things done today, the better. Still looking at what will be a pretty warm afternoon, but should have high temperatures just below average again as we move through the day today. Still have a uh, rather active weather pattern next week. We're expecting we'll still see a hurricane or tropical storm impact the region so we are expecting a quiet stretch of three days it looks like most of the impacts from the uh, tropical weather will start to move in once we get into uh, likely monday and tuesday tuesday especially of next week and we may have some lingering impacts on wednesday so uh, temperature wise today upper 80s low 90s should have plenty of sun out there but i have included a uh, slight chance of rain as well i see there is an area of low pressure which is churning up some rain over by the mississippi river today we did see some clouds develop middle of the day yesterday Yesterday, and that will be a possibility for us uh, again today. So here's a look at your Robbins Toyota Futurecast, which does show some of the cloud cover increasing across Arkansas and Louisiana this morning. Uh, rain chance is very low, but I have included them, especially late afternoon, early evening. You see some of those showers uh, just kind of over by Bienville, Natchitoches, Claiborne parishes as well as maybe Columbia County and uh, Nevada County in Arkansas and even a little rain going beyond sunset tonight but I do think most of us will stay dry today and uh, just that 10% chance of rain through the upcoming weekend. Uh, biggest story for us will be next week we have Tropical Depression 13 which is over here on the right hand side of your screen and then 14 right in the middle of your screen that's the one that does look like it is going to come up and impact our weather at some point next week. These will likely become uh, Tropical Depression Tropical Storm Laura and Marco uh, just depending on which forms first. So here's a look at uh, where those storms may be headed. Again, 14 is the one we have to keep our eyes on because this will likely strengthen into a hurricane this weekend as it makes its way through the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, it's showing some landfall right there near the Texas and Louisiana border. And uh, notice the other storm that's out there, Tropical Depression 13, making its way up towards the panhandle of Florida so that we could have concurrent landfalling hurricanes at some point next week. And it looks like most of the impacts for us in the Arkletex would be uh, again, late Tuesday into early Wednesday. This puts us on the east side of the storm or the right-hand side of the path. Anytime you're on that side of the path, that's typically where the heaviest rain falls. And oftentimes you can see some severe weather in the form of some brief spin-up tornadoes. So uh, again, not a very favorable position for us. We won't have the major wind impacts, but we'll have to watch for maybe some spots picking up two to four inches of rain south of I-20. And this is still a long ways out. So there will be some forecast changes. There may be some path changes in the upcoming days as well but right now this puts us uh, in a position that we would see some uh, isolated severe weather likely uh, Tuesday and into early Wednesday. Seven day forecast so we've increased the rain chances there especially Tuesday. Wednesday should have temperatures uh, a little bit lower just due to the rain and the clouds that we will have out there across the region but again uh, if you do have some outdoor plans this weekend you should be just fine but make sure you are keeping a close eye on that forecast as we move into next week.